Okay guys, so we're back again and quite a few things have changed since last time. Uh, now I am running um, everything from uh, Nexus Mod Manager. Um, I just wanted to use some mods that were on the Nexus and so I've deleted all the mods from the Steam Workshop and I'm using everything now from it. So uh, I'm using most of the same mods as before. A few new ones, uh, the main one being Project Reality which as you can see changes the weather system in the game and I am loving this so far, it is excellent um, I'll probably do a separate video showing that off on its own but uh, a few other ones um, I've got the Fendrix uh, Magic Evolve mod which says hope I have new spells um, let's see what else a few other ones that you probably won't notice until later on in the game such as I've got a few armor ones installed that I need the perks and stuff for so um, so to continue on with the game, finished off last time here at High Rothgar and I was heading to Whiterun. So continue on there again and I'm also using this time, I'm using the good old fashioned keyboard and mouse. So uh, I found an old Dell mouse, a wired one and it's not too bad at the minute so I'm using that now and just an ordinary keyboard. Um, I have ordered a new mouse, the Logitech G500 I think it is, so I'm waiting on that to arrive. So I'll be using that in my new videos. And also, lastly, um, you may already notice I'm using a different mic to record my voice. Um, and it's actually a whole new headset which is also a Logitech and that's the G35 headset. And I'm really liking this also, uh, surround sound and all that. So, it's been a long time since I've uh, used the mouse to play any game, so I probably have a little bit rusty. Still getting used to the keys a little bit. Ooh, a troll. Let's see. Magic, um, destruction. Ooh. Oh my god. So, we're off to a good start. See health. Um, that's what I want. Hidden. Okay. Whoa. No, it's not good. Okay, it's not going too well. Let's see what other spells I have. Uh, none of them are really much good yet. Let's see where shouts. Um, that probably would have been useful. Well, I have no shouts or souls to spend. So. Let's go back a minute and give me some health. And run away again. Uh, I don't know enough know where Lily is. She's probably lying dead somewhere. Oh, great. No 
magic yet. Oh, and there's Lilia. And she killed him. Yeah. Okay, so that could have gone a little bit better. But we didn't die, is the main thing. So, I uh, mentioned before, I've got uh, the Fendrix uh, Magic Evolve mod installed. And I'm going to pick that up now when I go into White, white Run. Um, I can either buy them, which I probably will do, or you can get a cheat chest, which you have to actually unlock, which I probably won't be able to do. So I'll probably buy a few to begin with, as I don't want to be too overpowered yet, because I'm only, uh, see, I'm level five, I think. Yeah, I'm about level five, halfway through, so I don't want to be too powerful yet. Stutters. I did change the quality settings a wee bit too. Um, running just under uh, ultra settings, um, and I probably will change it back again to high because there's quite a bit of stutter here, and frame rate's about 30. And I was getting around 40 uh, to 50 before when I was recording, so I think uh, I'll go back to high. And I may actually have to uh, stop this video and just go and quickly change it. frame right here. Ah! Okay, I'm just going to do a quick save here and I'm going to quickly uh, exit the game and change it to high settings, so I'll just be a minute. Okay, so I'm back now again. Um, I'm not sure really what is causing this uh, frame rate drop. Uh, it's even bad at the minute, it's around 23, 22. Um, I think it, uh, it's just going to have this problem until I get a better hard drive to save on. Um, I think it was before I was recording on my C drive, which uh, is a lot faster than this the external drive I'm recording on to now. But it must have been because um, the two programs are on the same drive. Skyrim saving that, uh, my operating system's on that. Fraps is on that, so it's probably causing it to be a lot slower. So hopefully I'll get some footage recorded for this part. And I hear a bear somewhere. Ah, there we go. Okay. Nice little So let's see Get some hidden. So let's see, where are we now? Okay, we're taking over to this shack and then towards Riverwood.
Whoa, what was that? Okay. Okay, so frame rate is still pretty bad here. And it's not really much it can do. I don't really want to go to medium settings. Uh, unless it is some of the mods I've got installed. The only one it could really be is Project Reality. It's the only new one that really changes the uh, graphics in the game. So it probably is that. Um, but it shouldn't have this much. It's, I'm over half uh, than what I would usually have. But anyway, I'll try and go on. And hopefully get to white run. And then maybe I can make a few changes in the next one. And if I could find a horse or a carriage, it would make things a lot easier. Any and I'm still on the right path. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Okay, a little weird. And still going the right way. And the frame rate has picked up a little bit here. We're up to 30 now. So, uh, I think it has got something to do with Project Reality, as uh, was uh, pretty heavy snow there, and it's cleared up as we entered here. And frame rate has uh, increased, so I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, it probably is Project Reality. But, 
I think I will leave it for now, you know, unless it gets really bad again. Okay, so let's just check again where we are. And we're going sort of the right direction. You picked a bad time to get lost, right? I think I came the wrong way. Uh, didn't actually mean to come up here, but they were pretty easy to kill. So, where's the other guy at? And there's some nice stuff here, I think. Warrior. Block. Nah, not really that great. And let's see. Gold, shield, um. I guess I'll take it anyway. I will probably need to sell a couple of things anyway to get buy some of these spells. And then white run. I probably need a candlelight spell. Uh, because Project Reality, uh, the nights are extremely dark. But they do look great on uh, when I see it on the game. But for putting it on YouTube, it is very dark. So I'll probably need a candlelight or a torch or something. I'm nearly at Riverwood now. So I'll take a little shortcut. And I don't think of anything to do here. Oh yeah, uh, another mod I've installed, that I don't think I mentioned at the start, is UFO, which is the ultimate uh, followers overhaul. And that, uh, as the name suggests, uh, completely overhauls the followers, and it gives you, I think, up to 8 or 15 followers, just can't remember. And also gives you more options, they can train, you can give them armor and stuff to wear, and they'll actually wear it on weapons, and they'll actually use them. So that's all pretty good. So next time I'm on, let's see where is it? Uh, I'm not actually sure yet, but I will be sure to get at least one more follower. So I have two at all times. Uh, as any more, I think would be a bit cheating. Uh, make the game very easy. Although I may increase it difficulty if I do do that. Um, I'm very tempted to change it to expert. I'm on apprentice, I think, at the minute. Let's just check. Adapt I'm on. So it's about the middle one. So I probably will wait till I'm about level ten, and then I might change it. And frame rate is bad again. It's 
Troy coming through here. I've got uh, a lot of trees and a lot of grass and stuff. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, we're back at right one now. And I'll be quickly going in now up to Dragon's Reach and purchase some, some spells. And then I will come back here and take the carriage to uh, one town. So, let's continue on to Dragon's Reach. I'll make a quick save just. Okay, so I probably should buy a breeze foam, uh, but it is 5,000 gold, I think, and I don't have that much. Let's see what I do have. I've got about 1,800, so I probably best option is to look at some mods that uh, offer player homes. I'd want something that uh, suits my character, so be a mage or magic sort of home, spellcaster, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, so I'll probably look at a few. I know there's one I think I've seen, the Leveler's Tower, I think it's called. It looked quite cool. So I'll probably check a few of them out. Okay, so I think the Fendrix magic is in here. And yes, here's the chest. So that's an expert lock and it is stealing from, so I probably will be attacked if I steal from that. So I can buy hmm. them from this guy, so let's just see how much everything is. And let's see. There's a lot of spells here. And they are quite expensive. Let's see. Summoning. I'd probably like some of them. Uh, these are pretty much all. Well, some of them are uh, Conjuration. And I think I'll buy some of these Scalp Warriors ones. And the Archer. Or the warrior. I don't think I'll take the warrior. And let's see what other ones there are. Um, let's see destruction, touch, um, powerful spell, increased speed. Uh, I don't really want that. Opening. So that's about it that I'd want for this. Maybe another conjuration, but they are quite expensive, so I think that'll do for now. Until next time. And as far as I know, this guy yes. also sells some spells. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing So you wish to master the arcane arts? Let's see spells. So he's got quite a lot too of the vanilla spells, and this is another one I've installed as a mod. This is the FC Resurrect spell. And this uh, allows me to resurrect any of the people in the game, like NPCs or followers. And that is quite expensive too. And that would pretty much use all my money. But uh, it's a pretty useful one. Especially uh, if any of my followers decide to get killed. So yeah, just buy that and let's see what I can sell. Um, 
see anything at any value, charm, necklace. That's, I might need that actually. Garnet rings, don't really need them. Let's see what stuff I have here. Um, scroll of mayhem, don't really need them. Tunic, don't need that. Necklace, I probably will keep that. Gold necklace. Uh, I could sell that. And that's about it. Let's see what books I have. That's about it. So. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. So, that's a couple of spells. Oh, and I forgot to get a uh, candle. I don't want to come in for it. Out with it. It seems this damnable co So, you wish to master the arcane art? Let's see. Candlelight. There we go. It's not too dear. So, take that. Remember, your mind is the best weapon you have. And let's go outside and try a few of these spells out. Okay, so let's learn a few of these spells. Let's see, items, books, and... Skeleton Warrior, Candlelight, really have flames, real zombie, I just want to pick it up, and Resurrect. So, let's give uh, the Skeleton Warrior a try, and let's see, it is 120. I probably don't have enough magicka to use it. Oh, I do. And there we go, that's pretty cool, and this is also a... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It won't uh, deplete. So, until uh, this uh, scale of war dies, it won't go away. Unless I dismiss it, which I can do by clicking on it and dismiss. So, it's quite a nice feature that they don't run out after a certain amount of time, which uh, the vanilla spells do. So, frame rate has dropped quite a bit again, so um, that will do for this time. And stay tuned for the next one. And the next part, I will be taking the carriage at Whiterun to Windhelm. And I will be continuing with the main quest of the game. So, thanks for watching.